Wow. Guy, <laughs> take a ride. No, I'm not gonna die. Holy moly, dude. Hey ho guys and gals, it's Jeff King here in the Den Tools, and today we're talking about the Varla Eagle One Scooter. Now hold on just a second, because I know you're going to look at this and you're like, ah, some kids think blah, blah, blah. This is not a kid's toy. This is, well, allegedly for adults. This is for idiots, is what this thing is for, and they sent me one. Kind of makes you wonder what they think about me. Anyway, I, uh, I'm over 50 and I've got kids so I wasn't going to test drive this thing okay that's not quite true I, I drove it once in the slow mode and I'm like no I'm not doing this thing again so I reached out to one of my friends who doesn't have any kids and said hey would you try this and he said sure god love him anyway let's go take a look at it I'll show you what he thought about it and what it was like for him riding this scooter <laughs> oh my god, is this speedometer accurate? I believe so. What's 130 on this thing? That's it? That's all I can get it up to. Is there another mode here though? Yeah, did you put on mode 3? No. How do I tell if it's... A... I don't know. Oh, gear 3. Oh. Oh my! This thing is way fast. Holy sh! I had it up to 48.50, wow. <laughs> Dude, this thing is dangerous and fast. This thing is scary. This thing is 
fast. 30? All right, let's do a quick overview of this. As I said, there's the, 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 mo the hubs on it. There's the lights on the deck. Uh, there's a pair on the front, a pair on the back. Uh, the dual suspension. As you can see, this thing is a really amazingly engineered uh, piece of equipment there. There's the rear lights as well. The, the battery is fully contained. I think it's IP56 rated. I could be wrong. You can see on the on the website. If it's weather resistant, I wouldn't, you wouldn't use it as a submarine. But, you know, going through puddles and stuff on the road shouldn't be a problem. Nice double clamp on the neck. That part I really, really appreciate. Here's where you turn it on. This shows you how much battery you got and everything. Uh, over here, now this is the speed throttle control. Nice little display. You see the different modes. And uh, that's, of course, how you change through the different modes uh, and all the different features and stuff like that. Um, and uh, again, press it to power it off. But you see, you have to turn the key off to completely cut power to this thing. Here's the Eco Turbo and Single Dual Mode I was talking about. Again, it's really hard to see what's going on there. Uh, the brakes, the hydraulic brakes. And then, of course, that's your throttle up there. Uh, surprisingly, easier to use than I thought it would be. Well, there you go, and that's that, <laughs> that pretty much tells the whole story. But let's look at it here. This is on their website. This is on Varla's website. And I know the first thing we got to talk about, we got to talk about that price because $1,699 for a scooter seems ridiculous. This, as you saw, this isn't a scooter per se. This isn't something you're going to kick. So this isn't a kid's toy. This is uh, an adrenaline junkie's little dream here or you know what else it is it's a pretty sick commuter kind of option really this thing the dual suspension really plays out in that kind of situation when you're riding on city streets if they're not perfect something like that um really makes this thing well <laughs> rideable rather than completely suicidal but here's let's talk about the price though i gotta go back to the price because what you're doing here is you're looking at an electric vehicle that could replace say your commuter vehicle and let's let's do some math, shall we? Uh, average travel that most people do uh, for commuting, that is, is about 41 miles. That's there and back. So combined 41 miles a day. You're spending uh, about $3.80 a gallon at the pump, depending on where you live in the U.S. But that's the average. Next up, we're looking at how old are most vehicles. you got to consider that. The average age of a vehicle that's on the road today is 12 years old. So they're usually like a 2010. And back in 2010, the average MPG for a vehicle. Now, this is we're giving a benefit here because we're doing city and highway combined. Uh, a lot of you may just be city, but you know what? You're looking at 22 MPG. So what does that come out to? Well, you're burning through about $142 a month on just fuel just to be able to go to work. Just I always love this thought of I'm spending money so I can work to make money. And and that's the situation now. So how long would it take you at that price to to pay that off? 142 to 69 to carry the one over the five it comes out to about uh believe it or not $142 a month. Which if you look over at Klarna here, which is their financing. I don't know what Klarna is. I've never, sounds Swedish. I don't, I don't trust anything Swedish. They, they got rid of the Saab, and after that, I'm just, I don't trust them anymore. Anyway, that said, their pay as low as $142 a month. Well, you do the math on that. Guess what? One $1,699 divided by $142 a month comes out to one year. Now, I don't know about Klarna if they're going to add interest. It's going to be longer. But if you're just doing your own math, financing it yourself or something like that, uh, you're looking at paying. This, this is going to cost you one year of full-time commuting to pay that off. Now, let's be reasonable. It's not going to happen. There's going to be r r days where it's raining, days where it, it's snowing, days that you just don't want to ride it. You want a, you want a vehicle. I get it. But... That's your base. If you run to hardcore about this, you could pay this thing off in a year and then you'd be making money. You'd be putting that money back in your pocket. You'd be putting $1,700 a year back in your pocket, maybe in your 401k, who knows. Now let's talk about some of the features, some of the benefits, kind of stuff like that. And then we'll talk about what I liked, what I didn't like. Uh, it, it does fold. That's a nice little feature there. You, you kind of have to have that uh, when you look at these kind of things. 
it, the dual hub is nice, all right? If you are going to go with something like this, you got to really have the dual hub motor because uh, when you're going uphill, you got to have the rear motor. And, but then also the front wheel helps you when you get into those wicked kind of situations. It helps pull you out. Now, you have the option of running single hub versus dual hub. It didn't say whether when you turn off which hub is powered. My guess is, is it's the rear. But anyway, uh, that's one of the things I didn't like. I think one of the big glaring flaws with this thing is right here with the, the, the modes here. The eco mode, they make it look like they light up. Um, now, I didn't ride this at night, and we didn't test it at night because a scooter that goes uh, basically 50 miles an hour at night, yeah, I'd rather hug a porcupine. That ain't happening. Uh, but anyway, the, the buttons for the eco and the single duo, I didn't see them light up, and I've heard other people mention that there was no indication on theirs. Maybe we're doing something wrong. Uh, but, uh, basically it was, you press the button and hope it's in the right one. Um, anyway, you can see there though, this is kind of the obvious setting here. Look at you, you, you give it more power, you get less mileage, you get more performance. Duh. All right. Let's see what else we got. We got the battery. Okay. It's got a 90, 946 watt hour. However you figure out, basically it's a 52 volt lithium ion battery with 18.2 amp hours in it. Um, uh, what kind of cells they have? I don't know. Um, I will say this. Varla has been around for a while. They're they have a rep. They've gained a reputation uh, for the people who are into this sort of thing as building a quality scooter. My guess is they're not using super cheap knockoff batteries. Whether they're running like high end Samsungs or maybe some LGs, I'm not sure. I'm not taking the battery apart on this thing. Uh, I'm just not that invested in it. Dual hydraulic brakes. Really, I was I was happy to see when I. Um, when I opened the box that I, that it did have hydro uh, hydraulic brakes these days though, hydraulic brakes are so inexpensive. It, it's almost, it, it's almost a crime when they don't have hydraulic brakes installed. Uh, let's see what else has got. Um, uh, the dual suspension. I have to mention it's got dual suspension. It should be obvious. Just looking at the thing, it's got dual suspension. But I know if I don't say it, somebody's going to ask, well, does it have dual suspension? And yes, it's got dual suspension. The other thing it's got is there's a little notch in the front wheel. So as you're turning the wheel, it kind of kind of has a detent to keep it at center, which is good when you're going at ridiculous speed, or I guess it called ludicrous speed, whatever you want to call it. The front and rear lighting. It's kind of interesting. So the lighting is deck level lighting and it's so it's built in i'm going to show you here in, in a minute the the it i like that it lights from both sides that's nice problem is when you turn the light doesn't turn with you so i mean it's kind of like a car car doesn't do that but some cars i, I think did um it would be nice if it turned with you so you could lead and see where you're going with this uh you can't but it does have because there's one on either side it does have a broader beam as it were so maybe that makes up for it some again i'm not writing this thing at night uh, heck i'm not writing this thing anymore i won't let my kids write it we everyone well the wife didn't write it but everyone else wrote it uh, in speed one i would only let them write it in speed one uh with uh the two motors engaged so you know i figured that was kind of safer a little bit faster but kind of safer and everyone, my kids don't want to write it again. They're like, nope, nope, dad, that is that that's more than than uh, than we want to deal with. So here's some of the specs on it. Uh, you know, the you can go through it. You can pause the video if you want to see the specs. Here's the geometry. If you want to pause the video, see the geometry on this thing. Uh, it. Now, the one thing is they do have some really cool accessories and they have parts available as well. One thing I want to say, if you're wearing a mini skirt wearing one of these things, you're a moron. I'm sorry, you may look great, but you're a moron. You're going to get hurt. Wear just denim, at least leathers, if, if you can get them. You want gloves, elbow pads, knee pads, full shoes, uh, maybe even boots and a helmet to boot and, and anything else. Maybe a backpack to help cushion you. Th these things at 50 miles an hour with those size wheels, if you get up to that, if you're riding at that speed, please wear protection. Um, I, you know what, and I, and I sound like I'm really biased against this thing and I'm not, I'm not going to write it, but I'm not the target market. Uh, but I can definitely see people. I, if I was 30 years old or in my twenties or something, I probably would have, you know, injured myself very badly on one of these. <laughs> I did lots of stupid stuff back then. Anyway, look, one thing I want to talk to, the one they sent me, and I don't know if this is all of them, but it came with, uh, these extra deck, uh, grip pads here if you will uh which are pretty cool i guess um you know honestly i'm not a big fan of the skull i like the attack helicopter thing i don't know about the graffiti art the american flag looks cool but i have this thing about standing on the american flag so that's not going to work for me 
uh, the protected gear set, it's probably decent. I would probably opt for something that is, you know, go out and buy something, you know, super high quality because they're inevitably you're going to need it. The, 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 if you are riding, if you're, if you're a young person, you get this, let's be honest with each other. You're going to thrash around on it, right? You're going to, you're going to whip this sucker into something, go into a shrubbery or something. And, uh, you, you're going to want to have protection. Uh, you're going to have helmet eye protection as well. Don't, don't, <laughs> you're going to need it. You catch a hornet. I, Driving down the highway the other day, I had a hornet come in the window. Luckily, I had sunglasses on because it hit me right in the eyeball or would have hit me in the eyeball. Look, at this, this is the other thing I want to point out. They have a seat you can get for this. So if you want something more comfortable, commuting kind of situation, $139. This is the, I mean, this thing's wicked fast. And if you have a seat on it, I mean, that's basically faster than any e-bike. Here's the thing I'm going to say. I don't know what the legal ramifications are for riding this thing on the street. It definitely does not meet e-bike codes. So be warned. Uh, handlebar bag, that's pretty cool. I like that. And here we got some parts, the charger, the deck hook, the, the, the displays, and, there, and there's more. All sorts of other stuff we got. Uh, the keys, I said lights, uh, you know, lights you can put on your handlebar. You can probably get those better on Amazon or something. Uh, the fender. Anyway, as I said, they've got all the parts. Let's go on. So that this is also not the only unit they have. Clearly, somebody was looking at these, and they're like, hey, we want to really thrash this off-road. So Varla came out with the all-terrain version of this. As you can see, it's stripped down a little bit. Uh, they've moved the light up to on uh, on the, the neck of it. Um, I, I don't really know a ton about this one. Also, I should point out, most of these come in uh, either red or, or blue here, so you have an option in colors if you don't like the red. And uh, so anyway, this one runs $2,100 essentially. And then they have this one, which they, they call it the Pegasus com, uh, commuter version. My guess is this was the initial version. Like this is version one is my guess on that. Uh, it looks like a much more scaled down, much more modest version of the previous one. Now, as far as the Eagle one, I, I can tell you, I will not be keeping this. I'm going to find somebody that I know uh, who needs something like this for commuting or something like that and donate it to them because uh, this is, it, it's just, it's not our cup of tea. Uh, I'm sure it's somebody's. It's an, it's a really cool piece of machinery. And I do kind of wish, wish I wish I was uh, at least half my age and I would probably be writing this all over the place. You know, you you know, the, most of my friends were all in our late 40s, early 50s, and all but one of them looked at the thing and went, nope, not going to do it. And these are guys who will go hunting in the mountains, facing grizzly bears, mountain lions, taking elk. I mean, these, these guys are a little bit nutty, but they all looked at this thing and went, nope, not doing it. All, all but one. <laughs> Keith, love you, man. Thanks, thanks for stepping up. Uh, anyway, the, 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 um, the speed on this, honestly, let me go to their homepage here. They, they list the speeds at one point they, they, here we go. 40, uh, 40, they say 45 miles per charge. I did not get a chance to test it. Nobody wanted to write it long enough to see if it would really do that. Um, the, uh, 28 miles per hour max speed, uh, or there we go. Was it 40? I think it's listed at 40 miles per hour max speed. It's. I think they're, I think they're downplaying the speed to be honest, because uh, I don't know why. Maybe because they're afraid of you know people getting in trouble or something. It seems, and and the tests we showed seem to be a good bit faster than that. Anyway, check them out if you want. If this is your sort of thing, go ahead and do it. This is, uh, uh, don't blame me. Uh, you're gonna have to sign a waiver, and you have to say that it's not my fault. Uh, if you buy one of these, I will put a link down below. Uh, Varla, I want to thank you very much for sending this to me. This thing is totally awesome. It is a great, cool piece of engineering, and I could geek out of it all day long, but I'm not writing it. Um, so, but I'm also not your target market, and I hope your target market sees this, and I hope they have a blast and they stay safe on it. Anyway, that's all I got for you today. You all take care. God bless. And as always, shine on.